WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we've got a, uh, well, we got a mixed bag out there. It just went mixed. We were going to see a sea of green, but that's no longer the case. The trannies have gone just slightly negative, down about 12 points. S&P is up 15. The Dow's up four, basically flat. NASDAQ, 158. Russell's up 21. Semis are up 51 points out there. You got gold off six bucks. Silver is up 16 pennies. Light three crude is flat. Natural gas is off six cents. 30 year treasury up seven ticks, printed out at 118.07. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the ES mini upper left hand side. What do we know about yesterday? Well, yesterday's candle generated a road's momentum indicator top. However, what price also did was it moved all the way down and tested that support level. We talked about that yesterday. That's at 49.39. As long as that support level holds, we are still in a bullish trending market. Spot volatilities is the one that's the trouble for the S&P 500. It still is above the 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 1368. As long as that condition remains, sellers are the ones that have the edge. If we take a look at the NQ. NQ actually did not form a topping pattern, not one of Stevie's topping patterns. What price did do yesterday was it got down and it tested the bottom of that support at 17,531. The actual low yesterday was at 17,542. We take a look at the US dollar index. It is trading above yesterday. Well, it's trading above. Uh, the bottom of its weekly profile. That's what that green line is at 104.66. We are in wave number seven. And that says, and that's part of the very small part of the Chapman wave we just heard from Basil. Um, the high 104.02, today's high 104. Yeah, so the, 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 the soonest we could get a confirmation of that kind of top would be tomorrow. You need to see a lower high out there. Gold is uh, likely going to form bar number nine of a TD9 count pattern today. I believe it's today, today or or tomorrow uh, so it potentially is identifying a bottom pattern out there short of that there's an a to b equals cd to the downside would get us to the 1954 level silver likely targeting 2134 as long as price remains below the bottom of its profile we've got a td9 count top inside of lights we crude price is testing that level at 78.28 it's also testing the top of that profile at 78.62 natural gas has made a small a to b equals cd it's made the one-to-one -one price objective if we do see a bullish reversal candle that could be the sign of a bottom. And a 30 year treasury looks like it might want to target 114.08. However, it also has a TD9 count top that should be considered. Or TD9 count bottom, I should say. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.